Oh, one of my favorite veggies is corn on the cob. So with tips on how to select your corn, as well as remove and cook those sweet kernels, we've got Chef Paul Lillikas. <laughs> right here. Season. Just go out there and grab some corn. We're going to learn a little bit about what you need to be looking for with the corn, but we're going to yeah. start with something else. Yeah, you know, I just came back from a children's summer camp. I was volunteering and feeding the kids there. He's and you such know, a good man. <laughs> Can we just give it up for Paul? You're such a good man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And, you know, you can tell a lot, I think, about how a kid's going to turn out by yeah. the way they eat their corn. <laughs> you, you probably know, can. You can. You can. Yes. I mean, and they all, they have a very animated way of doing it. And so yeah. we've narrowed it down to four here. Okay. Which I've pre-chewed for your amusement. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paul. He always goes the extra mile. So, number one, we've got yeah. the old-fashioned typewriter. This is the one straight yeah, yeah, lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. I dare say a future neat freak. Perhaps? Probably. Yeah. They have to do it all in a straight line. Exactly. Right? Right here, the yeah. free spirit. So nibble a little here, nibble a little there, <laughs> yeah. nibble a little there. Perhaps a future artist. Very creative. <laughs> You're very creative. There's no sense of order in this. No. At all. The rolling pin. Okay, so this is just continuously rolling, chewing, rolling, chewing. Yes. Uh, this is a right brain person who's looking for efficiencies later in life. Okay. A successful person, I say. That's not what I would take from that, but okay. No. I'll go with your word. I would be rolling it around in the butter like the rolling pin. Okay, well, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> like every second chew, like it's in that butter. Okay. And finally, and this is me, the yeah. clean slicer. This is a kid who's already got braces. These days are gone for me. <laughs> and this is the way I prefer to do it, nothing in your teeth. That's right, you're an A-type. Yeah. Right? And so, how to pick corn. Well, let's talk about this because um, some of you are in the grocery store and you're doing terrible things to this corn, okay? You're looking at the corn and you are stripping it naked. You're ripping it open. You're ripping it open and then no one else can buy that corn. Right. So, so that's not right. I'll tell you exactly. Two easy signs and it's pretty self-explanatory when you think about it. Yeah. The outside should be nice and green and fresh looking. Okay. Okay? And the corn tassels up here, sometimes known as the corn silk, yeah. should still be damp. All right. And brown around the tips, but still greenish white around the top of the corn cob. Oh, so it's okay if it's brown here. Yeah. And it is still damp. It's still damp. So yeah. that tells you it's fresh. If this is all dried up, what do you think it's going to look like on the inside? It's going to be all dried. Exactly. Okay. And so you could always take a peek, a tiny little peek at the top kernels. Right. No one will blame you for that. And look, they look plump and yellow and juicy. You know it's going to be a good cob. Okay, so you're looking for the color of the husk, you're mm -hmm. looking for the silk at the top yep. to be a little bit damp, and if you have to, just take a peek. Tiny peek. A Don't tiny rip it peek. Open. Don't rip it open. Exactly. Okay, so these are all good? These are all good. They're all good to go. And now I'll show you two ways to cook it. Um, both ways are blanching, mm -hmm. okay? But you can either remove the kernels first, yeah. and then you can blanch them like pasta. Yes, yes. Or you can blanch them whole, shock them in ice water, mm -hmm. and then you can remove the kernels later. Okay. So, is it easier to remove the kerners later if it's well, been blanched first or not I mean, so as much? long as it's been shocked and the corn cob is not hot, then it's fine. Right. But if you want to serve it right away, it's going to be hot. Right. It's going to be hard to handle. Okay. So what you do, here's a little trick for removing them. Use a bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this I've already blanched. You can see the color's a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. And I've shocked it, so they aren't dimpling. Another thing, if you cook corn and then you leave it hot for a while, you know the kernels start to yes. dimple. So we don't have any of that. So all you have to do in this bowl, Cut just slice them off. And that's the clean slicer. And then the bowl is catching everything. Right, you got perfect. no mess. You can have braces and you're gonna be okay. Perfect. You can be on a date and it's good. Exactly. Right? And now I'm gonna show you a quick summer recipe that I love to do with corn that's already been cooked and removed from the cob. Okay. So there's no cooking involved. It's the peak of summer, it's hot, this is just a nice, cold, fresh appetizer for a backyard barbecue. Music to my ears when you said no cooking. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I like it already. So it's a lettuce wrap with corn, crab, avocado, and a zesty ginger lemon oh, mayo. Yes. So all it, it, really, there's nothing to it. You get yeah. some nice butter lettuce leaves. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take this one here and just fill it with some of this corn first. I like when the corn's still attached because you can really tell what it is. So nice. Okay. Big pieces. Yeah, easier to assemble as well. You yeah. don't have all those pesky the, little kernels. The loose ones on the bottom here. Yeah. And what's great about using this lettuce is you you have a self-contained wrap. Yeah, you know? and it's light. Yes. So a little bit of, I like snow crab. I really mm. enjoy snow crab, but if you can't find snow crab, you could use imitation crab. Yep. You could use lobster. You could even use a smoked fish if you wanted to. Totally, yes. But I really like 
nice plump pieces of cooked snow crab. So we have some beautiful pieces here. That is so fresh. And then beautiful summer meal. And some avocado. Yep. Goes nicely with this, color-wise and flavor-wise, and it adds a little bit of creaminess. Okay. So you got lots of sweetness coming from the corn and coming from the crab. And then this is the best part. It's super simple. Yeah. Three ingredients: light mayo, a little bit of uh, diced or pardon me, minced ginger, okay. fresh ginger, and a little lemon juice. And that's it. That's it. And okay. Here's a little tip that I like to use for this because we've got such beautiful colors. I don't really want to toss this and make it super, super creamy and hide those colors. Yeah. So I put it into a zipper bag Yeah. and I just cut the tip and it's like a little piping bag and I oh. just pipe little dollops. Yeah. And when you roll that all up, it's all going to mix together, but it still yeah. looks good now. And I like a little bit of arugula sprouts right on top. Well, you think this is something, just wait to see how he plates it. That's this is probably the best plating I've ever seen, and there's no plate involved. So imagine going to a backyard barbecue, and you yep. arrive, and the first thing you're greeted with is a nice glass of cold white wine with a corn, avocado, and crab lettuce wrap perched on, on top. top. Yes. And a little bit of black pepper. Yeah. So you get your, so you walk in the door and you get your wine and you get your wrap and then you, and then you can do this, and yeah. you drink. And this right? just screams summer to me. It does. <laughs> it's beautiful. You've thought of everything.